Propanol and butanol are both members of the same homologous series as ethanol. Propanol and butanol can also be burned in the apparatus shown in figure 3. So these are alcohols, they have an OH group. Give three reasons why ethanol, propanol and butanol are members of the same homologous series. So when you need to justify why things are members of the same homologous series, think three things. Think functional group, general formula and chemical properties. So, for example, a general formula would be something like in alkenes, Cn, H2n. So that means whatever number of carbon atoms you have, you have double the amount of hydrogen atoms. And a functional group, it would be some, a group which they have, which is in, present in all, um, or a configuration of uh, atoms which is present in all of the chemicals. So in alkenes, you always have a double bonded carbon. In um, alcohols, you always have an OH. In carboxylic acids, you always have a COOH group. And then any simil similar co uh, chemical properties. So reason one, they all have an OH group. That's why they're a hydroxyl group. That's why they're members of the same homologous series. Reason two, they have the same general formula. So here it's CN, H2N. So you can see so you can see, however many carbons you have, you have um, double the amount of hydrogens um, plus one. So you can see H, 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 6 plus the one over here. So C, N, uh, H, 2, N plus one. That deals with this. You see here as well. C, so four carbons. We have eight hydrogens plus one. And then we have plus an OH group. So you write the functional group as C, N, H, 2, N plus one. OH. That is the functional, uh, sorry, that, rather that's the um, general formula for all um, uh, alcohols. Finally, in they all form water and carbon dioxide when they burn, so that's the chemical property. So we've dealt with functional group, they all have a hydroxyl group, general formula, they all have CN, H2N plus 1, OH, and uh, chemical properties as well. Um, you should probably, they, they gave you alcohols this time, next time it might be carboxylic acids, so just prepare and answer mentally for what that might be over here. Ethanol can oxidize when exposed to air to produce ethanoic acid and water. Um, propanol can also oxidize in a similar reaction when it's exposed to air. Write the word equation for the reaction when propanol oxidizes when it's exposed to air. So that means it just reacts with oxygen. So word equation doesn't mean the chemical equation. So you do propanol plus oxygen produce propanoic acid and water. You're just basically substituting ethanoic acid with propanoic acid and just carrying that forward. There's the chemical equation if you wanted to know, but you don't need to do that. It's a word equation only. Finally, what is the formula of the functional group in carboxylic acids? Will it be COOH? As you can see from this table here, quite a useful table, memorize it.